OECD nations, including the UK. There's the UK in the middle, the red bar. Have a look at this. This is this year, the forecast for this year's growth. UK's middle of the pack. Look at next year. We're going to just go through to next year. Look at the red bar. Down, 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 down. Actually, the UK with the weakest economic growth of any OECD country in 2023. Raising a question, why is that? Well, here's the chief economist of the OECD. The UK specific, um, again, are uh, a very fast pace of monetary tightening, um, like in the US, um, a very uh, rapid fiscal consolidation, uh, the soon after the US in the G7, but the US had wider deficit, um, and then the Brexit, which is adding to this with trade frictions. So all of this uh, are obviously impacting uh, UK firms and citizens. So Brexit, but also extra fiscal consolidation. What does that mean? It means basically the UK is starting to do a kind of austerity, cutting back. And the OECD says it needs to potentially uh, do a little bit less of that. But here's one other thing that's worth pointing out. The gap between what richer and poorer households are feeling in terms of the cost of living squeeze. Well, the red bars here show you the inflation rate on food and energy for those in low-income households. Uh, the blue bars are those, those in high-income households. Look, the red bars are a lot higher than uh, the blue bars but in particular in the UK, in fact, that gap... The UK specific, um, again, are uh, a very fast pace. ...in 2023, raising a question, why is that? Well, here's the chief economist of the OECD, specifically at all of the different major countries. The OECD is basically a club of development.